Hi guys, I am Muthu. I am going to share my story of how my chadar trek went in this video. I started my journey by taking a late night flight from Coimbatore to Delhi. I reached Delhi at around 4.30 am in the morning and then took an early morning flight to Leh at around 6.30 am. The stunning views of the snow capped mountains on the way to Leh is a must see. Since I am here a day early before the actual start of the Chadar Trek itinerary, I booked a room near the airport and went straight to it to get acclimatized. Today I went to meet my friends and the rest of the crew at the place where our travel agent has provided us accommodation. Once everyone reached there, our travel agent briefed us regarding our Chadar Trek itinerary. After briefing, we went to the Leh market for some shopping. In Leh market, we will get all the essential items for the trek. Today we plan to visit some nearby monasteries. First we visited the Tikse monastery. The views from the monastery are nothing less than awesome. Next we wandered into the mountains to visit the Hemis monastery. Today we completed our medical checkups and Chadar Trek registration to get our permits as well as our medical and rescue cards. After 5 pm we went to the Santi Stupa to see the sunset. The Santi Stupa viewpoint is the best place to see Leh in all its glory. Today we started to Shingra Koma, the place where we start our trek. First we crossed the magnetic hills road on our way and then we ventured into the beautiful Zanskar valley road. The Zanskar valley road is one of the most beautiful roads I have ever travelled.
I'm currently at the end of day one. I'm next to Zanskar River. So today we walked for uh, around uh, I don't know maybe five kilometers. Our tents are ready, and then we were walking around and. Uh, Interestingly, we found some uh, snow leopard uh, prints. So we chased it around and it went there to the hill there. We are covered completely with uh, mountains. Dinner will usually be served at around 7 p.m and we will go to sleep in our tents as early as 8 pm since the temperature outside will drop quickly and will reach as low as minus 25 degrees. The most beautiful thing you will see in the Chala Trek journey are the waterfalls. There are a lot of waterfalls on the way, most of them frozen and some with water still flowing. The places like these where we were walking close to the stream over extremely slippery melted ice are the most difficult ones. Today was the most difficult day of the trek as we walked 18 kilometers to reach Tip Cave. Today we came to know that the path ahead to Naira camp, which was the final destination before we were turned back, was untrackable since the ice had melted there and hence we started to return from Tip Cave towards our starting point Shingra Koma. Since it was our last day in the camp, we had a party with some singing and dancing by the guides, porters and the crew.
मैं तो पहनूंगे बिजली की It was our last day in Zanskar Valley and we just had around 10 km to cover to complete the trek. The ice had melted on our way back on most of the places and hence we had to take a dangerous mountain track on our way back. We completed our trek at around 5 pm and then returned back to Leh. Since we had completed the trek a day before, we had an extra day to spend here in Leh. So today we visited the Kartungla Pass and Ice Stupa. The road to Kartungla Pass is one of the most beautiful roads I have ever travelled. As we went higher and higher up the mountains, the sky disappeared and had turned white. and it looked like i was in the planet where mad damon was in interstellar movie Next we visited the ice stupa After returning from ice stupa our travel agent distributed our chada trek certificates Though the chada trek was a dangerous and difficult trek to complete the uniqueness of the journey and the challenges overcame to finish it makes it an once in a lifetime experience